Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The Prophet والسلام, used to use his hands to eat, but the murids at the Derga use wooden spoons. What is the wisdom behind this? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Because Prophet والسلام, also used wooden spoon. Because Prophet والسلام, also used a fork. Because Prophet والسلام, also used his hands. We also use our hands to eat. We use the spoon and we use the fork. But we Looking at things now, yeah. the best way to do it that is going to bring out the beauty of Islam and the beauty of the Sunnah. Hmm? We use miswak. Prophet said to some, use a miswak too. There are over 20 hadiths about the miswak. When you have a miswak with you, shaitan cannot come near you. If you use a miswak before you pray, it is elevated. Your prayer it is elevated. It becomes more clean, more complete. But you really think Prophet Islam uses miswak like this? You really think so? Everything that he brought is the most beautiful. You think he put his miswak after this and the miswak is like this? Huh? He's using it, then he's sticking it in his turban. You think he's doing that? Yes, Prophet Islam ate with his hands. But let me tell you something. The way he ate, so many people cannot do it. Don't get me wrong. Don't think I'm now ready, gearing up to just smash the Pakistanis and the Bengalis. People in Southeast Asia, I grew up there, we also use our hands, yes. So I'm including myself in it. But Prophet ﷺ, when he used his hands, you think he used his hands like these ugly people use their hands like this. Hmm? Hmm? Don't we have Muslims doing that? Say to me. Now say to me that is sunnah. Your girl, please. It's not. Eating all the curry, the masala, and wiping it in their beard. Because it's oil. It's nice. My beard becomes shiny like biryani. <laughs> no, he did not. Three fingers he ate, correct? Three fingers he ate. Very delicate. Very beautiful. There's so many secrets in that too. It means that Prophet ﷺ, he had never eaten anything to his full stomach. And he's always in hunger. Sahabi Kiram, they're always in hunger. And when you're hungry, you want to do this. But he's showing, even in that state of hunger when there is food, you do this. How many of you tried to eat with three fingers? You hear? I'm saying. How many of you really tried to eat? Say. How many of you tried to eat a whole meal just using three fingers? Have you ever tried that? No, I don't think so. Have you ever tried to eat three fingers, a whole meal, and eating rice, not bread? Have you ever done that? Say to me, be sincere. No. <laughs> so, use spoon. <laughs> Easy. It's also sunnah. Alhamdulillah, with the training of my share, I'm only saying that because he made me to go through it one day. To eat with three fingers. Biryani. <laughs> okay? Rice. It's not that easy. It took a long time and you have to be very patient. You, how much rice can you collect with this? That's why I have the right to say. If I didn't do it, then I'm going to say to you I didn't do it too. I'm also included. So Prophet said, so some used to use a spoon. You use a spoon. I'm not going to go into, oh, spoon is dervish, it is Sufi, you used to carry spoon, bowl, da, da, da. 
a kind of thing you can Google too, you can find out. But I'm going to say to you what is necessary for us to take, to what? Integrate into our life. We can integrate this. Use a spoon. Prophet said to a salam one time when there were unbelievers around and they had to share food from a single bowl. When he saw that unbeliever, before they were using their hands, yes, then because that one was there, he took a twig and he broke it until there's prongs on it, like a what? Like a fork, and then he used that to eat. Okay? For a different reason too. For that reason, we're using that also sometimes. But we're trying to do it according to the way of the Prophet just because I say that, it doesn't mean that now, oh, I like to use fork and knife and spoon, Western style, eating with your left hand. You're caught in that situation. Don't use your left hand, use your right. Okay? So, wooden spoon, very good, it's very healthy. You know, metal spoon, when it, you bite into a metal spoon and it hits your teeth, you know how that feels. So, that's what we're doing. Assalamu alaikum. That much is enough.